Hurricanes are the most violent storms on Earth, and they can expand up to a thousand miles wide. And in some of the strongest hurricanes, winds are over 150 miles per hour. Hurricane season in the Atlantic runs from June to November, but the prime time for them is August and September. Now this raises the question of how do hurricanes form? Ocean waters are running about 80 degrees Fahrenheit in the Atlantic and even warmer in the Gulf of Mexico, about 90 degrees Fahrenheit. And as these warm ocean waters are starting to evaporate, they start to cool and condense and can form into clouds and in thunderstorms. Most tropical systems start as a tropical wave off the west coast of Africa in the Atlantic Ocean and as the warm ocean waters start to fuel those thunderstorms that are in the atmosphere, that's how you get that swirling motion to start to form as a low pressure center starts to build in the center of that formation. And once those peak winds reach over 74 miles per hour, that's when it's technically a hurricane. Now with the swirling motion of that hurricane starting to develop, if you have any type of wind shear, which is winds that are going in opposite directions and at different speeds, that will start to break these thunderstorms apart as it will break off the tops of those thunderstorms and they can no longer develop and intensify, allowing for that hurricane to intensify. Now things have been quiet out in the Atlantic Ocean as things have kind of been put on hold, but come August and September, things look to ramp back up and we're keeping an eye on the tropics. We have updates every Tuesday for Tropical Tuesday here on our YouTube channel, so be sure to look out for those updates.